You speed. Uh, right, it's come to our attention that people are using the word speed. Stop doing it. I'm going to keep using it. You? Yeah, I am probably, yeah. Speed, though, is a, a theatre company which brings artistic experiences to kids on council estates. Speed Theatre. I want to know what it stands for. Speed, don't you? I want to know what it stands for. Speedtheatre.com. Look, look it up. Because G is working around the area of the Grenfell Tower tragedy anomaly social scar and doing great work as G often does. Jesus. You've started calling him Jesus, and as you can imagine, that annoys me because if anyone in our gang is going to be called Jesus, it should be me, shouldn't it? No, he's Why? out there helping survivors of Grenfell do a Christmas show, right? <laughs> and it's and guess what? that looks good. It's I, I, not I'll being admit. filmed, which is the only way you'd do it. That's right. Social, political, innovative, direct. Well, that's. You could have come up with a better list of words because that's. And a better an acronym. And a better an acronym. 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 Yeah. A acronym. acronym. I think you say an acronym. Follow the lane, you idiot. Because I've only ever heard an acronym. Yeah, you're, you're in the wrong lane. Word. But it's acronym. Look at the lane like, marking. Well, I know why we're attacking G. No, we're not. We're attacking a group the company. of people. You're in the wrong the lane. That company, mate, is out there now helping young people in from council. At the moment, uh, the monarchy gives emotional life to the the country, to the government. <sighs> human face. In a sense, Robert, that even I under, I completely appreciate and understand that what you're saying is they act as kind of avatars for a feeling what? of national what? goodwill and to create a sense yeah. of, of cohesion yeah. and the point of sovereignty yeah. is to demonstrate the in Downing Street. And so you see the, the mechanisms of the real power, if you like, on the one hand. <laughs> Gallagher's coming, G will be there. It's gonna be on a Sunday. Oh, no, Gallagher won't be there. Good. But Ed Stafford slows us down. You want Ed Stafford there live? You were bothering me in the week for his phone number, weren't you? Oh, well, can you ask Ed, what's the best kind of hammocks again? Is it a good show, a good show in China? Mm -hmm. mm, no, it's not, is it? Yeah. It's a good tell. This is Matt Morgan. Hello. In China, do you. Matt, Matt Morgan. Did you, oh, no way. Did you say he's so handsome? Who said that? Did you? I like your, I, I like your style. You like my style, but you think he's handsome. <laughs> you're Sunny, and you're the leader of the Chinese I'm girls. Sunny. Yeah, that's the last acceptable form of racism in America. There's never forms of acceptable racism. No, I'm sorry, I know, I'm not saying it should be. You've got Sometimes to stop it. it's embarrassing to watch telly and people look like... Go bloody Very kindly, written a haku, about the show. Uh -huh. Is it a limerick or a haku? It's a limerick. He's written a limerick now in the absence of Mr. G. So we're going <clears> to <throat> summarise the show now in the form of a poem uh, and, and in honour of G, who's doing great okay. work as an ambis ambassador, I think, of this show. Yes. So now, Mr. Gareth Roy from Hull, England, is going to demonstrate his culture <laughs> down your ears. Let's hear it. <clears throat> there once was a poet named G. I reckon when builders do things like that, you're asked them. Because they know how to do that, they probably look at you. Like, this is a 
work, that is the great question, isn't it? Because some of the things, the list has expanded beyond construction projects towards things that anyone who wasn't blown idle. Right, <laughs> this is, oh, go, 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 go. <laughs> right. it. I'm coming out there! <laughs> go, 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 go. Then, and I really got oh, scared. You're you are the thing you're scared of. A well, weirdo in a clearing in the woods. I thought I'm the scariest me. thing for miles around. Well, that's true, in a, in a sense. There, clutching me right, Matt, Matt Morgan, the scariest thing <laughs> for miles around. No question about that. All right, so we can wrap this up now. We've fulfilled our obligation. Keep listening to this podcast. Enter the, co- enter the competition. We love you very much, whoever you are, and whatever it is you need. Look down at your hand right now. That's your hand. We love you. We love you in that hand. We don't even kill. I'm joking. Yeah. I know you are. So I think they know what I'm doing now. They know what I'm doing with irony, or they know what yeah. I'm... They know when I'm being myself, and they know when I'm um, not being myself. A bit of disappointment when I say, please, well, you're going to walk out. They think it's not me. It's someone else. <laughs> How does that? And I was doing, and um, and he was like, yes, I'm, I'm absolutely bricking it. I'm terrified, right? And he had the most amazing thing. They cheered us because you very much own the other work that you do. You're not just, oh, look, it's Ricky starring in, in this sitcom or the. I, I do try my best and give them the best night, but mm. it's still got to be on your terms. Yeah, you know, I, you don't take requests because they all go away happy. They go away happy if you've worked on the show and you've got something different to say. Yeah. You know, and oh, they were right. It's almost like it's like someone coming back from the future for the future and going, telling you, go fuck off, mate. <laughs> I'll, you know, the, I will eat the yeah, 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 shit. Yeah. The longer it takes to make, but yeah, when I look at the stuff that. I mean, not all, you know, again, to varying degrees, but, like, my favorite stuff that we've done, like, I'm, almost as more time goes by, I'm more shocked that we were able to do it. Like, like I think, like, as I'm more distanced from This is the End, as an example, I look at it, I'm like, wow, that's like a really weird movie <laughs> to have gotten to exist. Yeah, so I don't know. Sorry? Did you just put this in the door? Yeah, I did, yeah. So I'm here? Yeah, and I put it in your safe place. Oh, I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks. You know, they made like, that was a huge studio movie. Yeah. Uh, off of what, like, at the time was a very obscure, you know, it was pre internet really, of just like a director that just made movies that were terrible. Of course, yeah. yeah. And we referenced Edward a lot in when, as we were kind of putting the movie together and, and cared so much. They cared yeah, so much. That's what's, yeah. Yes. Like, and it's so stupid yeah. that they cared so much. Yeah. But it made you care. And yeah. it made you it made, and you cared about them and so you cared. And that and like to us that was like the key of the movie. And and the other thing we talked the most about is like why people like the movie. Like we didn't want to make a movie himself and them. have people understand, you know, his a creative sensibility, you know, and so Dickhead. he totally got it, and like heavily reasoned for it, like yeah. the reason he threw the bottle, the reason his <laughs> pockets are full of stuff, the reason that like it's like it's all actually very like it is very motivated, just in, in the way that's invisible without context. <laughs> and do you, and do you know that that was all true? Was that was some of it uh, embellished, or do you know that like? Sometimes it, little tumbleweed would go past. Like, good, okay. good, right, let's okay, carry on. I'm sure the Scandinavian tourists <laughs> used to love that. <laughs> because they're more hygienic. Well, they're pound more coins hygienic. are more hygienic than pound notes. That's right, yes. yes. All right, but we still have five pound notes and ten pound notes. Yes, yes. yes. What's the biggest note First you can get? Snapchat. Haha, <laughs> 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 idiot. Blink and you miss him. Wow. Do you not hashtag on Snapchat? I mean, there's no, no. need. But Do you see comments on Snapchat? No. Oh, well, oh. well, what they do is, because my Snapchat's are open to everyone, I usually get the odd reply, either by chat or picture. I very 
very much enjoy going through this little subject. Give you only right. this gone. Right. Yes, mate. Let me go back to Pippa's text. I sent her a picture of a tray of all of these. She replies with the following. You've said it too many times yeah. and you, it, it's lost it, its meaning. It sounds weird either way. Yeah, I remember that with Trevor McDonald. Um, well, if you well, the more you say Trevor <laughs> McDonald, <laughs> the weirder it sounds. I've heard this when I was a kid. Um, you'd watch the news and if you really stare at someone, you can't recognise their face anymore. It's really oh. bizarre. I remember doing that on, just watching you Trevor McDonald. You never had that. You <laughs> need some kind of psychiatric help. Chicken stock. Chicken stock. So I can do a very good risotto. Very good risotto. You're, you're and that's, so wrong with you. No, I can do a good risotto. And that's, know, that's a Jamie Oliver oh, recipe. Oh, I'm never having anything now that you've cooked, <laughs> ever. You've had my risotto. Oh. Shall I repeat that? Can you repeat that, please? <laughs> so Satan. Smoky bacon, yes. Yeah. Yes. Mushrooms. Mushrooms? You stupid. Pepperoni. Uh, Pardon? I can't hear you. Uh, so I, I didn't get you, sorry. Oh, God. Pepperoni. 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 Oh, yes. Can I just say oh. how excited? Because I'm off for a couple of weeks over summer, and we're going to run a best of show. Yeah. Which means if we. Have yeah. Oh my God! Drink, drink, drink. Is that all you think about? The creme de la creme de la creme. The creme de la creme de month. <laughs> uh, so anyway, thank you. Subscribe. Don't forget to tell people about it as well. Just go to right off the podcast. Well, it's it's really fun. Fun. So, so I'm Should I do what, capital I, capital L? Capital you just wrote in the joke. Just, just Lots of people capital. cheering from the side. Oh, it nearly came off. Oh dear. Okay, best of luck. Anyway, uh, bum hurts. Wow. <laughs> you are giving us so many, so many great audio clips yeah. here. Clip these, Matt. Let's keep going. We've just gone past the halfway mark. Now, a lad is listening. You know when you've been out and you're wearing heels. Cushion now. Yes. Would you like to tell everybody what the cushion is? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it's uh, well, it has got your face on it, Chris. Yeah. Yes. Don't no. worry about it, Toby. It's no. fine. <laughs> no, it's a cushion. <laughs> it doesn't need to be said. No. So no. you're sat on my face. No, is, is, is that, that easing the? Is it? Is it easing the pain? Yeah. yeah. It is. Yeah. Really, my my face feels very warm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Remember those baggy jeans that were elasticated on the ankle and then really baggy? Oh my goodness me. <laughs> yeah. M mix that with a bit of acne. Yeah. Hello ladies. Oh, what? But you had hair. I did have hair. That's true. Yeah. That's when true. did it fall out? What year? Um, I don't know what year. I was like 20, early 20s. Right, okay. Yeah, 23, 16. Speaking of jeans, oh, I was, wow. Awesome. That's a classic. Yeah. Do you know who designed the people? Oh. I think it's Hitler. What? Yeah, it was, it was, they, were, they were Nazi related. Yeah, I think Hitler came out with the design for the Beetle. And people know that our facts aren't necessarily concrete. Yeah. Can't yeah. come to the show. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't think you were going to go to. Well, you did, but I thought you were leaving a bit late. That's what I was meaning to say. Temptation to stop and knock on someone's door and give them a box when you're driving, even on your days off. Yeah, yeah. wicked. Sorry, Samantha, were you talking? No. Good. He's just showing off now, Samantha. He's proving to me that he goes over 40. <laughs> I love him like a son.
wonder everyone gets their gifts before Christmas. This Amazon driver is lightning boots. We're going to have to take back that um, Facebook posting we did. What was that? Uh, no one ever said rubbish. I represent that remark. We said, we said 40 miles an hour max. Now we're gonna have to call him Race Driver Roman. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, you were spinning then. That's alright, they know the way. They're probably driving sensibly. <laughs> Roman's again. Ah, uh, I cannot win! <laughs> That's how he knows we love him. We make it impossible. If we didn't like him, we wouldn't talk to him. No. It's very true. 